Okay, everybody. Uh, I wanted to give my thoughts. I just finished Dishonored 2. Um, short of the long, how I'm feeling right now. Um, it's good. It definitely picked up at the end. It got much, much better at the end. Uh, the last four or five hours of the game, terrific. Really, 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 really good gameplay. You have all the skills. You have all the you know, power-ups and all that kind of stuff. And it gets pretty chaotic and amazing. And I did the whole thing on High Chaos, uh, which is just how Monumental does things. So uh, with that being said, the last bit of the game, the last few, four, five, six hours, somewhere on there, terrific. The game as a whole, eh. I had problems with a few things. One, the currency system. I'm big on loot. And if I'm exploring and looking for things in the environment and I pick up a fan and a fan is worth... It just basically, you pick it up and it says five coins or whatever it's worth. That annoys me. Like, I'd rather just sell it later and then gain five coins, but don't have me pick up a fan and then tell me I picked up five coins. To just put coins there. I, I don't know. That bothered me. Um, there wasn't a lot of reward for exploring outside of the bone charms, which, by the way, were totally useless in my opinion. And the runes, which obviously are very important. And, and those, those were great. Uh, so the runes uh, were worth exploring for it, but every time I saw a bunch of bone charms around, I'm like, eh, a waste of time. Um, so that aspect of the game wasn't that great either. Um, I thought the first one was better. I thought the first Dishonor was better than this one. I gave the first one at least an 8, which is, which is good. That's a really good score. I don't know if I can give this one more than a 7. Uh, it was a good game. It's worth playing if you like Dishonored. I really love the art style of the game, but the first 75% of it isn't that good, in my opinion. It's just not... I don't know. It was missing something for me. The lore is okay. Uh, not not incredibly fascinating. Uh, and, uh, the environments were beautiful, but the lore itself, not, not incredibly fascinating. I do like the fact that you could pick between Corvo and uh, Emily, which which was cool at first, but ultimately they're like the same. It's pretty much the same playthrough as, as far as I know, which kind of also defeats the purpose, I guess. I mean, you get a different ending, but I can, I can watch that on YouTube. I want the playthrough itself to have some, uh, some distinct differences between the two characters. And uh, I only played, you know, maybe five hours of Corvo and then the rest of a full playthrough of Emily. But as far as I know, they were essentially the exact same. That was kind of a disappointment. Um, so overall, I think I would go just off of how I'm feeling right now. I mean, I literally just finished the game. God, seven? I guess I'd go seven. I part of me feels like I'm gonna sleep on it and drop it to a six, but right now I'm feeling I'm feeling like a seven. I think the last five or six hours saved it in a lot of ways. Uh, the boss fight was was good. It was good. It was different than I anticipated, but it stayed true to the game, which was use stealth to kill uh, and I can respect that in the game for even putting that in the boss fight instead of just making it a hack and slash even though I actually prefer hack and slash I respect the game for sticking to that uh, so yeah that's that's my that's my uh, quick thoughts on Dishonored 2 